Ladies, it's Jackie, and I'm so excited to show you um, my Apple's Science Pack that should be added to the Science Fun. Okay, so um, kind of like with being a scientist, there'll be things so you can set up an amazing and engaging science table. Um, so I, I set everything up to make sure all of it works and then my kiddos test it out for me. Um, so this table is set up so you just have red, green, and yellow apples out, and then I cut some up, and yeah, they will get, you know, a little yellowed and things, but you can just put a fresh one out in the morning, and that way they can touch the actual apple seeds, and then there are these little prompts that help them to remember to use the tool, so this one's kind of like a sorting and just examining the parts of an apple, and as always, there is a large read aloud, and you can also print that smaller, and there's directions included. And I think what I'm gonna start doing, since all of my, my science units are gonna have vocabulary cards, and I think people are gonna use them for like mini lessons and during read alouds, I think I'm just gonna, kinda like I do a lot in my room, I'm gonna put them on a ribbon. That way I can pull them off if I need to for a science talk or circle time or if the kids wanna pull them off. So I'm just gonna put these on ribbon, I think. Um, and then I have the Apple Discovery pages. And then here's um, one of the anchor charts that's included. And remember my trick, if you use anchor charts again, laminate the pieces and then you can just pull them off when you're done and use it the next year. And if you get permanent marker, which I use on here, just take a dry erase and that'll erase the permanent markers on your laminated anchor chart pieces. And remember to do anchor charts during group or during circle, and that way, um, that way you can um, the kids will know the meaning behind the, the things on your wall. Um, and yes, I do know I'm live in the group. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an exclusive on what's coming. And then this is the part. There's also life cycle. Um, pieces to it and I just laminated it so they can take it off and they can put it um, the life cycle in order so that's also included and then here's another science table set up so they can weigh the apple so you can put the apple in there and then they can weigh and see how many chains cubes and bears equal the apple or you can just have them measure the apple with cubes and there's little prompts again to show, um, just give the kiddos a visual on what they can do. And here is the Apple Read Aloud Smaller, if you have a smaller science center. So it's super cute. And then as always, there's labels you, for whatever kind of tub and there's different sizes. And then there's journal pages and covers. And just, um, so you can do like a class journal or you can have each kiddo have their own. Or um, you can have the individual ones and then let me show you some of the other things included <laughs> thanks Shelby <laughs> and then so here's some more of the um, there's also big um, parts of the life cycle so if you're doing a read aloud I don't know if you guys have seen this book it's called tap the magic tree and it's super cute and it talks about the life cycle of an apple and you have to tap the book it's kind of like um, I forgot the name of the book but like it says, give the tree a jiggle, and then the petals fall off, and then it just goes through kind of the life cycle of a, of a tree, or an apple, sorry. So yeah, that's a really, really fun one. And then there's also um, recording pages if you want those. And then there's an apple taste test you can do, so with the anchor chart pieces. And then there's either kind of like a preschool um, taste test chart or, there's a higher level one for um, kinder classes or first grade. And then you just cut up. I use, this is actually one apple I cut up. And then my kiddos actually ate like half of the pieces. <laughs> and then um, there's also an apple investigation um, experiment you can do. So basically you take one apple and then you open it up and you talk about what it looks like on the outside. And then you cut it open together and talk about what it looks like on the inside. And that would be a really good time to pull off those vocabulary cards and talk about the different parts of an apple. And then you get to measure the apple and um, you can measure how tall and how wide it is with just with cubes. 
and then you can count the seats and just put them in a 10 frame to kind of add some math in. And there is a recording page for kiddos um, too. That way if you are kinder class and you want them to do it um, on their own or with a partner as well.